Ever since I started watching football in the 90s, there were a few teams that were known for being putrid. Not just bad, but putrid. It's kind of funny, it seemed like these teams could never win. And those two teams were the Cleveland Browns and Detroit Lions. The Browns never had the talent it seemed that the Lions had, where they had players like Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson, and Matt Stafford, who won a Super Bowl after he left Detroit. The Browns, on the other hand, had their share of heartbreak, losing the team to Baltimore, watching Baltimore win a Super Bowl, and having former Browns head coach Bill Belichick win six Super Bowls with the Patriots. But oh, have times changed. The Lions and the Browns are both headed to the playoffs this season. Their fan bases can rejoice. How rare is it for these two franchises to be good? At the same time, well, this is the first time they have both made the playoffs since 1994. Back then, the head coaches were Wayne Fontes and Bill Belichick. The Lions were led by QB Dave Craig and Barry Sanders. The Browns were led by Vinny Testaverde and safety Eric Turner with the number one defense in the NFL. And it got me thinking, if these teams won a Super Bowl, how shocked would their fans be? And what other franchises in sports would it be such a big surprise if they were to win a championship? So we all know the Browns and the Lions both have to be on this list. It come to a complete shock to a lot of people if these teams were able to turn it around and win a Super Bowl. So I'm going to put those two on the list. We're going to come up with the 10 teams I would be most surprised with winning a Super Bowl, winning a championship, World Series, whatever it might be in pro sports here in the United States. And I'm going to just focus on the big three leagues. MLB, NFL, NBA. I'm going to just say NHL. So many random teams win, but one that would shock me is the Arizona Coyotes because they're so badly ran. But other than that, let's not worry about too much about hockey right now. We're going to worry about those three, and we're going to have the Browns and the Lions as teams that would be shockers to win a Super Bowl. Um, other NFL teams, we're going to have the Bills, who, look, they've been close so many times and had so much heartbreak, and that's why I would say it basically would be a complete surprise and shock if they won a Super Bowl just because of the heartbreak they've gone through. And a fun fact, if the Bills do make the playoffs, which look like they are going to, the Bills, Browns, and Lions, three teams on Lake Erie would be the first time in history all three of those teams made the playoffs in the same season. To add another NFL team to the list, the New York Jets. Uh, the Jets have been putrid as well. That would be a shocker to a lot of people if they won a NFL uh, Super Bowl. So those four teams would be the Browns, Lions, and Jets. Uh, uh, Browns, Lions, Bills, and Jets. Four teams that would be kind of like, wow, these teams actually won. Let's go to Major League Baseball where I have two teams on the list. Unfortunately, one of them is my favorite team. As you see, I'm wearing a Seattle Seahawks shirt. And I would be, and a lot of fans would be, surprised to see the seattle mariners actually win a world series like that one would be absolutely surprising because the team has been bad for so long uh they had the longest drought in uh american sports playoffs with like 20 i think it ended up being 21 years at the end of it the team has had players like griffey a rod randy johnson Ichiro, so many Hall of Famers and weren't able to ever not only win a World Series, but to ever get to the World Series. The only team in pro sports to never get to the World Series. Next, um, the Pittsburgh Pirates who've won World Series back in the 70s. But lately, like since I started watching sports in the early 90s, mid 90s as a, you know, elementary school kid, I think the Pirates have made the playoffs twice, maybe. Like, that's another franchise I'd be surprised with. So right now, we got the Browns, Lions, Bills, Mariners, and Pirates. So that's going to leave us with a few more teams. Let's go to the NBA, the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers, growing up, that was like the definition of a bad franchise. They never won anything, like literally nothing. The Clippers could not win a damn thing and it's still like that today it seems like they're a cursed franchise they'll get a number one pick with blake griffin he'll tear an acl uh they get Kawhi and paul george somehow like the Kawhi being one of the biggest signings in nba history 
and they can't win anything. Uh, now maybe getting a, under, away from the shadow of the Lakers and building their own stadium that Steve Ballmer is going to be building them. Is it quite possible this team turns it around? It is possible, but I just don't know. It's the Clippers. Like seeing the Clippers hold a trophy would look absolutely weird to me. Next is the Atlanta Hawks, another team that, you know, if you go look back at the history, the Hawks have never won anything. They've had players like Dominique Wilkins. They've had Trey Young now. It seems like they are one of those teams that always have had pretty good players, but never those like super duper stars, right? Trey Young is not a super duper star. Dominique Wilkins never was a super duper star. Um, there's all that Jordan in the league or Curry or Giannis now with, and back. I mean, Dominique back in his day, maybe the fourth best player in the Eastern Conference after Larry Bird, Julius Irving, Moses Malone. Well, no, Moses was in the West. So maybe third best player in the Eastern Conference. Well, Michael Jordan, Dub. Larry Bird, Julius Irving, Michael Jordan, and um, Dominique Wilkins. So he never really got to be that like number one guy. After that, it's the Charlotte Hornets. I mean, I know it's maybe not fair because they're kind of a new franchise, but the Charlotte Hornets have never been good. The Charlotte Hornets, I could never envision this like Hornets going on a huge playoff run, making the NBA finals and winning. It just, it seems far-fetched to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but it does. And the Sacramento Kings who've gotten close a few times, but never were able to go win a championship. And that's because... They're the Sacramento Kings. That's just not a team that I feel like is going to be able to go out and win a championship in any circumstance. I might be wrong and might be weird, but I'm not saying these are the 10 like worst run franchises. These are just 10 franchises that I think that people would be really surprised if they actually won a championship in their respective sports. So once again, that's the Cleveland Browns who took the Ravens leaving to win a championship. The Lions, who haven't won a championship since Eisenhower was president. The Buffalo Bills, who have suffered only heartbreak. The Heartbreak Bills. The Los Angeles Clippers, who were the model franchise for being mediocre in the NBA. The Seattle Mariners, who are my favorite team uh, in baseball, who just are the only team in Major League Baseball history to never make a World Series. Um... I guess you could say the Expos, but they moved to Washington where they won a World Series. Atlanta Hawks, don't think, I just, I mean, you feel like the city of Atlanta should have a great basketball team, never did. The Jets, who, God, they signed Aaron Rodgers, tears his Achilles right away. The Pittsburgh Pirates, who haven't won in a while. The Hornets and the Sacramento Kings. And I'm just going to throw a bonus out there because they've been bad for 40 plus years now. Well, not 40 plus years, but they haven't won a championship in 40 plus years. And that's the Washington Wizards slash Bullets who seem like they make the playoffs a lot. They're having a really bad time right now, but they've seemed to make the playoffs a lot in their history. But since their championship in 1978 against my Seattle Supersonics, they went back to the finals in 79, and I don't believe they've been back to the NBA finals once, and that was like their last NBA championship, and that's a team that's also suffered through a lot of being mediocre. All right, so those are the 10 franchises I'd be most surprised about winning a World Series NBA championship or uh, Super Bowl. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment who you think is the worst franchise or the franchise you'd be most surprised about winning a championship. And my name is George on tap, part of a sports on tap network, and we'll see you guys next time.